So welcome to a video from thegcslive.com and in this video I'm going to show you some of the changes to Windows Mixed Reality in the May 2020 update. So this is the update that's rolling out uh, starting the beginning of May and gradually over time will get rolled out to more and more users. Now there is currently an issue if you're on a release preview ring if you're a Windows Insider testing this update but um, I'm using the fast ring build and I've got no major issues here. So what's new? Well the, the couple of things. First it supports the new Microsoft Edge, this is the new Chromium based Microsoft Edge, I'll come back to that. What I wanted to show you was um, the new on-screen keyboard, which if I click into the address bar there, you'll see the on-screen keyboard there, and you notice I can grab that and drag and move it around. I can get, I can increase it, I can decrease it. So that's much better than the previous one because I always found it got in the way the field you were trying to type. So going up there, the address bar, I can start typing in here. You can hear this new sounds as well, clicking away. And it wasn't immediately in the way like so often it was the case of the old one. The old one used to appear in your vision and you couldn't kind of see around it. So I see mine's popped up down there. Oh, I can move this to wherever I want so if it's more convenient for me to have it there like that I can read that and then type like that or I can drag it to where I want it so a lot more flexibility with the keyboard that is certainly worth its weight in gold when you're using the on-screen keyboard a lot and you can hear the new clicky typing sounds okay what else is new well I mentioned that it now supports the new uh, Chromium based Microsoft Edge, that's what I'm using here. Um, so this is the new Chromium based Microsoft Edge that I'm using here. Currently on this test build it's classed as a uh, a classic app. You can see that I'm using Edge Canary but that and it will be moved into the normal apps at some point as well. And that's a bit of a bug actually, you notice that icon is wrong. Um, I am on the fast ring bill here so normally that icon would be right. Something else that's changed is the settings for Windows Mixed Reality. You can adjust whether new apps launch at 720p or 1080 I found the 1080 ones to be a bit small, the icons were a bit small, but you can customise that for yourself. Uh, you do have to restart the portal for that as well. And there was also some other options as well about resolution and frame rate but for those you need to do that on the uh, desktop version so let's go to the desktop so here you can see the experience options you can choose whether it's best for performance or best for quality you can adjust the frame weight rate and or let windows decide and you've got the sleep timeout as well so you can uh, set that up as well. So these are settings that you, you didn't have sort of access to directly. It was kind of a catch-all uh, setting. Now that's been split up on separate uh, fields. So those are the main changes to Windows Mixed Reality in the May 2020 update. It's worth it for just the keyboard alone. I really do like this new on-screen keyboard. Uh, it's just so much easier to use uh, being able to move it around. So those are the main changes with uh, Windows Mixed Reality in the May 2020 updates rolling out soon. I think the, the new on-screen keyboard is worth it um, for it's just been a lot easier to use and a, a lot more uh, just adjustable to put it where you need it to use. I think it looks better as well. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on thegistlifestyle.com, at iSticks and on Twitter.